Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK, where I bring you to exciting places to see and explore. And guess what? Today I am back in the town of Ipoh. I did a video of Ipoh three years ago and that was really, really popular. And thank you for supporting that video. But there's so many more food that I did not cover in Ipoh. So I'm back again to cover some of the food that I missed out. So as usual, Let's start with breakfast! these people, all these patrons here are just waiting for one thing which is Moon the Moon Kai Si Ho Fan which is the chicken shredded Ho Fan. <laughs> we waited one hour for our Ho Fan and this is where local people have their Ho Fan and this is what I'm having now for my breakfast. It is Sunday and we had to wait for one hour for this Ho Fan and I can say it, it looks really good, it looks very authentic. Ipoh Ho Fan. So if you want the Ho Fan that the local people eat, then it's Moon the Moon. But you have to wait one hour. Let's with the Ho Fan. Mm. Work the one hour wait. Fujiwara opened just last year and they've taken Ipo by storm and comes with ginger sugar or pandan sugar and I picked the uh, ginger sugar mm. it's very nice mm. it's not sweet at all even though they call it uh, ginger sugar mm. oh. I tell you, Ipoh really has the best Tau Fu Fa in all of Malaysia. I would just drive here just to eat the Tau Fu Fa. Mm. huge so if you're a fan of swiss roll you definitely cannot miss jj roll here in ipoh i think it's not easy to make a good swiss roll but i think they perfected it i chose coffee roll mm. Mm. Really, really good. It's soft, 
super soft and super moist. The shopkeeper told me you either get it very early in the morning because they have tons and tons of flavor as you can see. You either buy it early in the morning or another batch will come out after 3 p.m. So you will go there either early in the morning, I would say 10 or 3.15. Then the next batch will come out. They specialize in all sorts of really custom made cake as well. I saw some of the cakes are just really incredible. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Swiss roll, but this is really yummy. Mmm. 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 So, JJ Swiss roll. Now you know where to get these. They say this is the best roja in town. Ow. Mm. So, so nice and crunchy. Oh. I have been craving a whole day for a good wonton mee for my dinner and I heard from the local that they come to Cheongki for their wonton mee. They start to open about 4 p.m. and it gets really really busy at dinner so I have to be here very, fairly early but still there is a long line and it, all the tables have already been taken. I mean I must admit this is the first time that I see bean sprout in one tummy. I've never seen bean sprout in one tummy before so that's something really really interesting. I would point out they have three sizes of one tummy. I think they have the single, the half and the double. I don't understand. I've ordered the single so this is what the single size look like. It's a very typical look for one tummy. It looks pretty simple to me. So let's have a taste. Mm. Oh, I must say, it's not as salty as the normal one tummy. Mm. And together with the bean sprout, I mean, together with the bean sprout, I think it makes the whole experience very Ipo-ish. This is very authentic. That's the way I like it. You know, simple, nothing fancy. This is very home style, wonton me, local. And I can see local people do come here because all I see 
our local people coming here to take away and have their wonton mee. It's the only thing they sell here in Chongqi. I think they're very, very famous here. And I think it's a hidden secret. So if you want wonton mee in Ipoh, you have to come here. They open about 4 p.m. They close on Sunday. So I'm gonna finish this. Mm. Mm. This is great. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going for a cocktail. I know exactly where to go and I'll bring you there for the best cocktail in Ipoh. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you there. This is nice. I can taste the gula melaka. So boys and girls, this is my last stop and my supper here at Ipo. And if you are a noodle lover like myself, you have to have to come to Santa Kei. They specialize in all sorts of noodles that you can imagine. And of course, you have to order the moon, the moon uh, noodle, which is kind of like the raw eggs. I've covered that on my last uh, video. And of course, uh, just simple noodle that we order. And of course, the mass mass order is of course the octopus. Look at that. Ooh. So that is my trip to Ipo. This is my last stop and I'm going to really, really enjoy my last dinner here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like, subscribe and share this video if you like it. I hope to come back to Ipo. So if I've missed anything in this video, let me know so I can come back and eat those uh, items you recommend. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!